We get to watch Milo fight a junior cup. <laughs> All right, so let me open my trainer stuff back up. Right. I don't remember. Did did Moel and Tor did they meet Blur? Uh, you don't know. You don't know. They were in the same Pokemon Center at one point. <laughs> I was <laughs> say. I'm just gonna bluntly ask, have you guys, did you guys get to meet Blur? Uh, Moel kind of turns towards you and goes, um, we've seen him a couple of times. Um, I think it was, like, back in Pallet. I'm pretty sure he also got a Pokemon from, you know, that one professor that Toe got his Pokemon from, but, like, he doesn't really talk to us. I think he thinks he's, like, above all that or whatever, so, I don't know. He thinks he's better than everything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> says V from beyond. Cinnabar <laughs> Island. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Blur just kind of goes, fine, if that's how you're starting it out, let's do this. And he throws out a ball, and you see a sparrow come out. Bird on bird violence. Bird on bird violence, exactly. Bird violence. All right. Uh... Um, okay, 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 okay. So let me bring back out the turn order so that we can all roll our initiatives. Damn, those are. Yeah, you're not gonna do this. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, wait, hold on. That was, that was Piper's. Oh, that initiative. was Piper's initiative? So that was plus one. That was not Milo's initiative. Milo has. <laughs> Milo has a plus two, so that's a twelve. So roll the Which I don't know what what Blur's mod is. Uh, Blur's Dex modifier. Yeah. Uh, Blur's Dex modifier is three, so I think he would still take. Uh, he would go, go first, first then. Yeah. yeah, he would go first. He's tiny. Right, then. And very very wily. All right, uh, let me open <laughs> up that. Hold on, guy. All right, let me see what the hell I am working with because I've completely I've given these characters all these Pokemon. <laughs> I've forgotten what the fuck I've given them. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Yeah. Okay. Uh... We know he's got a Charmander because he attacked V with it. Yeah, you do know that. Uh, yeah. I think yeah, I have I this so. calculated right because it's. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just making sure that I'm aware of what the fuck I'm doing. I think this is technically Me. a. Wait a minute, am I doing this right? Oh, this is technically supposed to be a. Sorry. Sorry! Sorry! Give me one second, please. Uh, <laughs> no. no! I'm just trying to get by. Okay. There we go. So, Sparrow goes first. And immediately, um... Yes, uh, you hear Blur call out over the intercom. Sparrow, go! Fury attack! Um, and the sparrow closes the distance, uh, spreads out, snaps out its wings, closes the distance, and immediately begins to attack. <sighs> so, fury attack is an interesting thing. Um, where make a melee attack roll doing 1d4. Uh, on a hit, after successfully hitting a target, roll another d4. On a result of three or four, you may immediately hit again for an additional 1d4 normal damage. Um, for a maximum of four additional hits. So the first fury attack is a 20, which I believe will hit. Yep, that hits. Okay, and that is a grand total of... Oh my god. Uh, oh, don't. Eight damage. Oh no. What type of damage? Uh, normal. Okay. Eight damage, and I'm gonna roll my next 1d4 to see if it hits. So three or four, I get to do more damage. That's a three. Oh, you 
you to roll, was it another hit attack roll? The, uh, uh, after uh, successfully like hitting, damage. you may immediately yeah. hit again for an additional 1d4. Oh. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. It, just, it just keeps dealing damage. Yeah, it just keeps dealing damage. So this time the damage is 2, so another 2 damage. Uh, Come on, one. Here's another D4 one. roll to check if I keep hitting or not. That's a four, so I will keep hitting. <laughs> God damn it. Damage roll, one D4. That's a one. Continue, one D4. This is the last one that I can make. That's a one, so I stop. Okay. So it was eight, two, one total, yes. right? Yes. So 11 damage total. Sorry, I, I bumped keys yes, wrong and good, accidentally good. like fucked my HP, so <laughs> I wanted to make sure I had that right. Yep. Ow! That hurt. Okay. Um, I don't have anything cool like that, because all she knows is scratching gusts, so... Um, well, in that case, I guess, on um, Marla's turn, he's gonna just have her hit with... Uh, I guess he'll just have her try to hit with a... a God, no, that's a ranged attack. So, tackle! Okay. Well, it's up in her face like that, so, an 11? <laughs> tackle, 11 does not hit, I'm afraid. Okay. <laughs> okay. It sounded like the most uneasy tackle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just like... Yep. As Piper oh, uh, hits out with the tackle and kind of reels back a little bit and you guys are flying around each other, right behind Piper, not actually anywhere close enough to hit her, but from your perspective, Milo, you see a small hatch in the ground that you haven't even noticed before was very well camouflaged. Open up and shoot a burst of hot steam out from right here. And for a second, both birds have this moment of, like, ceasefire, and they all both, like, turn and look at this weird little geyser. Panic. <laughs> and then they turn back to each other like, the fuck was that? <laughs> at least we weren't there, we were here, but... Okay. Um... But, yeah. Uh... Yeah. I, I had never set up Piper's character sheet with all of the move info like I did with the other one, so I want to make sure that she didn't she isn't missing something that she could know. She doesn't have four moves at the moment. Oh, she doesn't. Yeah, you're right. So she is has uh, access to gust and sand attack at this point. Yeah. Okay. That's what I mean. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Um. Yeah, Blur's gonna be like, hit it with a peck! And he is going to... That's a 17 to hit. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's another 8 points of damage. I'm rolling really well, guys. I don't, I'm sorry. I, this doesn't feel as good as I thought it would. <laughs> you're, just, you're just trying to uh, take all the money we got from our jobs, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, don't worry. We're, we, we saved Kit for last so that he can kick your ass at least. God damn it. He's one Stop singing Kit on me! Hands, God but... damn it. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's see, Piper, I can't, I mean, it's like, it's either I have to risk the attacks of opportunity to be able to use a gust for an, uh, an extra one point of stab damage, or I just go for the melees. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I guess we'll just keep trying to tackle it. That's a 19 to hit. Yeah, absolutely. That's actually hit. We for... believe in you, Piper. You can do it. Yeah, Piper. Five oh, yeah. roll damage. Yes, all right. Actually connects this time, and you see the Sparrow for the first time being like, what the hell's happening? <laughs> kind of flaps its wings. These birds are just dive-bombing each other, essentially, in very close combat. That's how we found Piper. She was she was in a embroiled battle with another bird, so... <laughs> this, this is her element. This is her element. Oh. Exactly. Thing, but... uh, the sparrow is kind of like they're they're circling each other uh, once again at the same interval, once again from the same spot. Um, this little geyser goes off, but you guys 
both of your Pokemon are now aware of it, so they're kind of keeping away from it. Doesn't seem to be affecting your battle too much at this point. <laughs> um, alright. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Blur kind of, you hear him chuckling over the intercom, and he goes, Well, I think it's time to show this one who's the better bird. Hit it with another fury attack. And that is going to be first hit is going to be a 12? 20? 12, 12, sorry. 12 to hit? 12, 12 does not hit. 12 does not hit, okay. Uh, as it soon as he gets... 13. Nice, as soon as uh, he gets cocky, you see Sparrow begin to dive and Piper just lifts a wing and it kind of whiffs and it goes, ends up on the other side of her. That uh, will do nothing. Okay, it's Piper's turn. My notes are correct, and that is, yeah, it's from her her nimble nature. She ah. has an extra one AC. Ah. Great. Um, yeah, then... Counter tackle! <laughs> no. Nope. Blur just All goes, right. what are you doing? Just fine, just pack it! That's a fucking two. <laughs> no! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Just, uh, right. It's Pakistan again. Yeah, how, how close to the ground is the Spiro? Oh, it's about like three feet off the ground at this point. So what he's going to do is he's going to be like, all right, let's change things up real quick. Piper, come back. And he's going to recall Piper. Okay. And he's going to send out Lou. Oh, okay. So small. <laughs> he's so, so small. small. <laughs> oh god, he's so big. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna make a medium. <laughs> okay. And as uh, Lou yeah. gets like, <laughs> energized or released into this thing, you're just gonna hear Milo scream, Come out swinging! And Lou's gonna use a quick attack on their bonus section. Okay, because it's a bonus. Okay. Uh, quick attack. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I see. Oh, wait. Four, you know what? Sorry. Can I do one more thing? Because I realized just now. Uh, Sparrow also has a reaction. Um, okay. And it is Pursuit. Oh, go for it. So Pursuit is when a creature is fleeing or switched out by its trainer, you can make a ranged attack against it. So because it's close combat, so it, it will be a disadvantage. Really um, but, but uh, that is disadvantage, saved you from a crit, but that's a 24. Man, yeah, that hit. Uh, that is 8 dark damage to Pidgey. Oh. Piper goes down on the way out, damn. Oof. Okay, but that, uh, quick attack will definitely hit, so that is a 6 normal damage. Yeah, I, I looked at Spiro's, uh, fucking loadout, that is ridiculous. Yep. The move set that Spiro gets compared to Pidgey. It is yep. Pidgey's like here are the four or three weakest attacks. Huh? You didn't take any damage. It was oh, oh, it was. Sorry. I heard six damage <laughs> and went. Oh. No, no, no like, sorry. That's for damage. me. No. Six damage to yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> Big attack did six damage. But yeah, I was I was like blown away by how good Spiro's move set is. It's yep. Freaking ridiculous. Mm, yep. Here's all the goodest moves in your first pursuit attack. Yeah. Uh, Fury attack. Fury attack. Ridiculous. But that's that's their turn. Okay. Lou is um, just out there trying to dance in foot to foot, like, all right, all right. All right. You see, uh, you hear Blur on the uh, intercom do it like, ah, you really gonna let you do it like that? Come on. Take it out. Fury attack now. And I'm gonna try that again. That's an 18 to hit on the first Fury attack. All right. That is an. God, I rolled so well. Eight damage. For Lou, normal damage though. I don't know if he's resistant yeah, or not. I mean, he's fighting. Uh, normal damage, eight normal damage. I'm gonna roll to see if I hit again. Roll one d4 to hit again. That is a one, so no, I do not. That is a single fury attack for you. Let's see. Alright, it is your right. turn. 
Uh, well, with his reaction to that fury attack, I'm gonna hit it with a counter. Uh, 11. eleven does not hit, unfortunately. Okay. All right. Well, that's. I think counter is the only one I really gotta keep track of. I'm not gonna be seeing up the others, but I only have three counters. Five. Mm. All right. Then I will start. All right. Lou, hit him with a feint and then a quick attack. Okay. Sixteen on the feint and an eight on the quick. So. 11 normal damage from the faint. Okay. Faint is not the one that's an advantage, right? No, that's... No, that's this faint no, attack. No, no, that's faint attack. God, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> okay. You know, specific. <laughs> so different, right? Damn. Faint attack's also a dark move. Oh, I love it. Normal damage. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, that Sparrow is already looking real... <laughs> Real not good. Not good. Kind of like sways forward and then does this like lunge that turns into a back kick where he tries to hit with both feet and only one foot hits. <laughs> All right. Quick attack of the second foot doesn't hit. Incredible. Um, yeah, Blur is just kind of like, no, come on, Fury attack again, do it right this time. Um, that is a... <laughs> That's 11 to hit. <laughs> but hit. He has an AC of 12. <laughs> Hell yeah. Damn it. Okay. Uh, since I didn't hit, no counterattack, but just keep up the, the wombo. Oh, no, that doesn't... That does not hit. That does. That what about the quick? Is it with the quick? Oh my it's god. Hit. It had three HP left. You're a lucky motherfucker. Uh, yeah. All right. The faint attack misses this time. Sparrow's ready, but what it's not ready for is the quickest attack you've ever seen coming up and just giving it... I don't know. How do you want to do this, I guess? He's just... It's all about, like, not making it look like the moves are coming. So, like, the first one's come in where he looks like he's going to swing with his hands, but instead he kicks. This one, he kind of comes in with his feet forward and instead just does, a like, these two quick jabs. <laughs> and the second jab is the one that actually hits. Okay. He's just a monk, so that's how I see him, is fighting like a monk. Incredible. Um, this is exactly what I was about to make the <laughs> fucking nerdiest comment ever. Um, okay. Do it. No, I was just gonna say, I'm like, this is exactly why I gave a Riolu in my Mighty 9 AU. Bo has a Riolu, and <laughs> because it's blue like the cobalt, yeah, yeah. so never mind. Anyway, uh, the Go. point is, Sparrow gets recalled, Blur is ridiculously quiet, and then he just goes, fine, go fish sticks, get this over with. Um, <laughs> fish sticks. And what He's comes out... Fish sticks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Is a magic garb, which is not assigned to its token. Hold on, I gotta change that real quick. Which no sniper beam. <laughs> Don't underestimate it. <laughs> Never underestimate your opponent, Lou. Always it go might have the, It could have belts. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> it could. All right. Uh, Sparrow is down. Fish sticks is up. Uh, and it is fish sticks turn. He goes. All right. Don't mess this up for me. Tackle like we practiced. And you see this thing flip on its fin and launch itself through the air. Directly at Riolu. Um, and that is... Hold on one second. I just gotta check something. That is a 90 to hit. That does hit, yes. Okay. Give me one second. Alright. And that is a... Wow! Wow! <laughs> Eight normal damage. Oh. Beef <laughs> carp. Gonna be a crazy Gyarados. <laughs> As he takes this, like, giant fish to the face. Told you! Don't underestimate it! Hit it with a counter! Okay. Alright. 20, 20 to hit with, a counter, hit with counter. Yeah, absolutely. Aww. Aww. Two fighting damage. Two. Oh. Okay. 
Uh, but hold on. Oh no, it's water. Never mind. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Ooh. For a total of nine normal damage. Okay, five and okay, nine normal damage. Get him, get him, Lou. Put as hands soon on. as Riolu takes a Magikarp to the face and immediately begins to retaliate, not even phased by the fact that this carp just came out of thin air and uh, weapon. Actually, his first attack is this quick jab off that knocks it in the air, and then he just like gets up, slams it back down with the feint, and then does a quick jab to it while it's, like, <laughs> flopping around on the ground in front of him. <laughs> All right, excellent. Um, you hear Blur over the intercom go, don't take it laying down like that, get back up, tackle again. Um, that is a 23 to hit. Bit magic heart. <laughs> Four normal damage. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> We're good. It's fine. You're just better. counter attack. Okay. I have three more counters. Uh, uh, ten. ten will unfortunately not hit. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I was hoping it would because it's a magic card. Oh. oh my god. Nice take it away. Wow. This Magikarp is beginning to just, like, flop. It essentially tackled Riolu and has continued to, like, bounce around, back and forth around him. And this is something I'm forgetting about, but, um... I'm gonna have both of them, honestly. This is gonna be a... well... No, because they're not actually... Uh, no, they weren't actually on the token. Um... As it becomes Fish Six turn again, you see the hatch open up again, and right next to Riolu, but not close enough to actually hit him, um, the geyser pops up and just sprays hot water again, but it is not actually close enough to... Not actually close enough to do any damage. You've been avoiding it very well thus far. Unfortunately. <laughs> I'm imagining the Gyarados being called fish sticks now. <laughs> <laughs> fish fingers. Uh, yeah. That's an eight normal damage to Riolu. All right, Luke, don't go down that easy, buddy. He'll endure that first hit. Okay. God, that is clutch. Okay. You hear Blur yeah, on the intercom being right. like, are you kidding me? What the... <laughs> he didn't hear no bell. <laughs> <laughs> Why does Milo sound like he's the one who gets throwing? Uh, fate will definitely hit. Okay. Three normal on the fate. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Excellent. All right. Oh, come on. We got to take him out. Tackle him again. He can't be that far off. God, these rolls are fire. I want this in Strahd. I want this in Strahd, guys. We don't. Right. We really don't. <laughs> it's not normal. You gotta roll that 20 if you want to endure again. Oof. He goes down. Nope. <sighs> it's okay, buddy. You did great. So good. All right. Come on, Chester. Fuck that fish up. <laughs> Get up, Chester. We believe. You know what? I just realized Blur never actually called out the uh, waterways. And I'm gonna just kind of do He's that. He's just flopping around on the ground. He's just flopping around <laughs> on the ground and begrudgingly, finally. <laughs> He's like, I guess we should probably do that. <laughs> you so don't need to Probably breathe. while you're recalling your Pokemon, it's up to you where you put Chester, but probably while you're recalling your Pokemon, uh, it'll go in the water here. <laughs> I like that idea. It just bounced around this whole time. <laughs> I've loved the image of him just flopping around Riolu. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he'll just probably deploy him right here. Okay. Uh, then on his turn, I'm like, all right, hit him with a vine whip! Uh, 14 will absolutely hit, yes. That is six grass damage, or, or yeah, six grass damage. Six grass damage, okay. That will be absolutely enough. Uh, oh, sorry. To take out, because yeah, it's doubled for water Pokemon, yep. so yes. Immediately, this Magikarp goes the fuck down. For the Magikarp, you get a grand total of 80 XP for Chester. 
Oh, sorry. Actually, I forgot about the Spiro too. Hold on. Yeah, Spiro. Um, and can I split them as well? Yes, just split them however you see fit. That's okay. Uh, so hold, sorry. Spiro is three hundred and forty XP. Sure. And Magikarp, despite being super fucking beefy, is actually just eighty EXP. Well, Lou hits level three, but okay. the extra few hit points wouldn't have mattered during the fight, so I'm not gonna level him up just yet. Okay. Um, and then I'll just put the, the rest because Piper was already level three, so I didn't really need to hurt. Okay. Hurt HP. Oh no, it's the head zero. Here. Okay. All right. Uh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Um. Um. Sorry, I'm just doing that. Cool. Okay. All right. Chester versus Charmander. Mm -hmm. Uh, was it your turn or my turn? It was your turn before, so it's my turn now. Okay. Yeah, I just killed Magic Carp, so it's your turn. Yes. You killed fish fingers. <laughs> fish, fish, fish sticks. Fish sticks. Uh, fish sticks. Uh, you killed fish sticks. You bastards. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you hear Blur over the uh, intercom go, All right, Cinderbutt, time to prove your worth. Let's do this with Amber. Over uh, over the little audio that is picking up from the stands, you kid just audibly. Did you say cinder butt? It Blur's it. like, yeah, what about it? Ember hits with a 19, I think. Yeah, 19 will definitely hit. Okay. That is nine points of fire damage. Okay. So 18. 18, okay. Not a great start. Mm, not not a promising. Great start. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, you hear Blur over the announcements go, Well, I'm a little bit impressed. I expected that to take care of it. He doesn't go down that easy either. Hmm. Is burn just like poison in this? Like if we get burned, is it also not just going to go away until we heal it? Uh, burn, I think, hold on, I still have the thing up. What is burn? A burn Pokemon rolls all damage, rolls twice and takes the roll lower result. In addition, the creature takes an amount of damage equal to its proficiency bonus at the beginning of each of its turns until it faints or is cured of its burns, so yes. Okay, we do not need to get burned, guys, yeah, because we don't have any status items other than, I think, these berries, right? Yeah. Do you have yeah, some? Yeah, some Ross berries, yeah. Couple. I don't think we kind of planned for status this early. I guess. Let's see, man. Yeah. Alright. Don't let him attack you at range like that, Chester. Run up and bite him! He'll run into melee and... Okay. Chomp him. Get him. Oof. Bite. Unfortunately, misses. Alright. That's all good. We'll have to run away to hit you with the number, or it'll be less likely to hit us. Just <laughs> cross your extra quill. <laughs> we we believe Chester. Uh, let's see. You know what? Why not? Um. You hear Blur call out, we're gonna do this the fun way then. Um, hit him with a smoke screen, and you see uh, the Charmander open its mouth and begin to breathe out not fire, but smoke directly in Chespin's face, essentially, um, in a line. And with smoke screen. What happens is, I'm just going to post it for posterity. You conjure a line of smoke, uh, five feet thick. It extends in any direction from a point in it within range. The area on either side is obscured and impo uh, imposes disadvantage 
on ranged attacks, but what I'm going for is you need to make a con save against uh, the DC or be blinded for, I think it's one turn. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Okay. That's not good at all. That is not a successful save. It's not a successful save. Uh, but because you are blinded, I think. Wait, shit! It's just a blinded condition. Hmm. Yeah, that can make a blinded creature can repeat the save at the beginning of its turns to remove the effect on a success. So I get another save. You get another save. Yes. Yeah. At the start of my turn, to see if he's still blinded. That's pretty neat. Cinder butt. So um, cannot blame you for a name is Permander Cinderbutt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cinderbutt. Uh, that is Cinderbutt's turn, though. I do believe Smokescreen is an action. Let me just double check really quick. I'm pretty sure Smokescreen's an action. Uh, Smokescreen, one action. Yes, it is. Uh, oh, however, it is one minute con concentration. Um... So... so there's just a, a minute unless you knock him out of it of smoke lingering out here as he's just breathing smoke yes. instead of fire. <laughs> and actually, weirdo. what I'm um, sorry, what I'm gonna do, I was trying to draw a thing, but he will try to put it in like a thing around himself since it says in any direction. It will be closer to this. Why am I drawing this? You know what? I'm just gonna draw. I'm just hold on. I'm just gonna free freehand this. Scrub, 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 scrub. It's just this. <laughs> there. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, smoke screen. So smoke screen goes up. You uh, didn't make the first save, but you get another save. Otherwise, you're gonna be blinded. Oh. Me too. Okay. So you uh, are not so blinded. It's conjured. Well, luckily, it says it should just range the text and so just bite it. You know? Fuck yeah. up. Um, Go for the jug. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it's either bite or roll out, because roll out's also solid. Rock isn't. Yeah. It's ground that's super effective, right? And fire? Not rock. You don't know? I You're gonna have to fire. reach deep into your. <laughs> <laughs> make a. You know what? No, make an intelligence check for me. Can I use Arcana? Uh, yeah, it would be Arcana because it would be Pokenology. Yes. 14. <laughs> the DC was 15. Oh, but. All right, well, let's try it out. Roll out! 50, 17. 17 will definitely hit. <laughs> okay. Seven rock damage. All right, and you, <laughs> Chespin, like a bowling ball, bowls straight over Cinderbutt in this, <laughs> in this weird smokescreen thing that he's made for himself. Um, okay. Spinning around and like Sonic the Hedgehog, still in his quilled, like, balled up form. Alright. He gonna go for another rollout next turn. Okay, excellent. Hell yeah, keep, keep doubling it. Get some crazy damage going on this bitch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you hear Blur yell, Ah, you gotta stop that! Come on, scratch! Um, that is a 20 to hit? That will hit, yes. Okay, that's 10 normal damage. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, buddy. Just, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're in it to win it. Let's just keep it up. 18. Yes, it will hit. And then, so it's 6, and then I roll another d6. Okay. I'll get a 6. Let's see some crazy damage. Five, Almost? So 11. 11. That is doubled to 22. And as the smoke wafts away, you see that... Cinderbutt is laying flat on his back. Knocked out. Hell yeah, dude. 
ding, ba ding, ba ding. I have three hit points. <laughs> I just fell under ten percent with him. <laughs> oh uh, and go ahead and give yourself. That's another. I think. Was it only Chespin who battled Cinderbutt? Yes. Yes. Okay. Because. Yeah, yeah, because Chester had to come out to deal. He had to find what magic card. Yeah, that's right. So um, Chester gets a grand total of 500 EXP. Hell yeah. This got a lot of XP. All right. Uh, so the voice comes over the PA and goes, Sin, uh, Charmander, I mean, <clears throat> Charmander is unable to battle. Uh, Chespin, is that right? Chespin? I've never seen that thing before. Chespin uh, is the winner. And go ahead and award yourself uh, 2,000 more polka dollars, Milo. Yeah, 2,000 more? Yeah, well, yeah because you get your you thousand your, back. Your yeah. Yes. Oh, sorry. So it's, yes. So if you didn't when subtract the first polo. thousand, you can just add yeah. a thousand. Yes. Yeah, I wasn't going to subtract. I'm, I'm an optimist. <laughs> that money, I, I was going to just add the thousand I won, and if I lost, I would have did Ducted the yes, that I makes lost. sense. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good yeah. battle. You, <laughs> you come I'm out honestly, of the. I remember. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I couldn't remember rock resist like rock against fire, and I just it was driving me crazy because I knew ground. I knew <laughs> ground is super effective, but I thought rock, but I couldn't remember. Okay. As you come out of here, you see a very familiar sight, which is Blur, looking like he's pale and at the same time, like, red with anger, just storming out of here, and very similar to V, right to the door, and you just hear it slam. Why does everybody get so mad? I don't know. Why, why are all of our friends, and as he says, friends, he does, like, air quotes, <laughs> run it all. Well, I was like, well... Losing doesn't feel good, so I'm not super surprised about that. Uh, well, um, good job, Milo. That was really fun. Thanks. Uh, that was a lot of fun. I thought <laughs> when I had that final matchup with Sitting to Quill against the chart, or... Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I definitely... I, I got I got Cinderquill in my head with Cinderbutt, and now my brain is all sorts of things. So I don't I don't think Blur thought that smoke screen through. I mean, I think it would have worked well if Chester wasn't just so beefy and cool. Like he kind of releases Chester from his Pokeball, who's like, uh, oh, oh, sorry. Let me just I'll just let you. But, but I mean, I mean, so maybe he had something better than Scratch to take advantage of, but. Like, wouldn't he give himself disadvantage with Ember? I think the idea was that he would uh, give, he would have blinded Chespin enough, long enough to, like, get away uh, and put some distance between them again, but didn't work out for him. Take that, right. Blur. Well, Zara, kid, I think you guys are up, unless we wanted to take a, a little break and. Zara just kind of goes, yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. Um, you guys have been all battling with uh, three Pokemon, though, and I'm afraid I only really have two? I hope that's okay. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm down for whatever. All right. Toa just kind of gives a little thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, well, then. You guys both head over, and I do need to ask how much money you're betting, and whether or not you're imposing the, uh, the environmental effects, as it were. Man, how much do you want to bet? Because I'm, I'm, I'm not super rich. We're kind of some broke kids, but I'm fine with betting. Just let me know what you want to bet, and also, I don't really care about the environment. It's your call. I just love to battle. She she kind of looks at you and goes, "You don't care about the environment." I. <laughs> <laughs> the the hazards, not the environment. 
She goes, oh, a little guy. You can call the little geysers. I, I mean, okay, if you want to no, do it, you can. You just but... gave me kind of a heart attack. I thought, okay, I work in a nature center for Arceus' <laughs> sake. You can't just... <laughs> Yeah, all right. I'm a broke college student, and I, I don't know, you all look really strong so far, so I think I'm just going to bet, like, 500 if you're okay with that. Yeah. Yep, all I'm right. okay with it. All right. Well, I'll see you in there. No geysers for me, if that's okay with you. Yep, yeah, I'll say okay. Cool. Yeah, they didn't Maybe. seem to do too much. <laughs> I don't know. We, we, you guys have some luck. With the environmental stuff, and I know that means I wouldn't, so I'm a okay with not having the <laughs> environmental <laughs> stuff going. We've had it too good for too long. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, uh, the environment will be turned off. Um, and let me get you back to the battle arena so we can get this started. Zara against Kid Aster. Who are you throwing out? Uh, I'm actually gonna wait and let her go first because I don't even like we we kind of just asked this person if they wanted to fight so I don't know the first thing about them. <laughs> <laughs> That's very I'll fair. I'll defer to you. All right, very fair. Um, she kind of waits for a second and then you hear her say, "All right, I guess I'm getting this started." Ugh, man, still not used to this. Um, go Vulpix, and she sends out a little Vulpix. Oh, that's cool. Damn, V's not here. V's the designated Pokedexer. <laughs> it's true. I guess you guys just have to do it. It's true. Oh, man, don't say that. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't like want to use my Pokedex. Yeah, I like, I like I don't battling. Use my I already have, I've, got like a, I've got like a pretty vague understanding of a lot of Pokemon, so I don't need my Pokedex. <laughs> well... This kind of works out, because I, I was thinking about using her so she didn't get to come out at the gym, and the fact that it's a Vulpix kind of works for her favor, so I'm going to toss out Froakie. Okay. You hear Zara over the intercom go, shh. I mean, she talking mushrooms. Shoot, you're all kids. <laughs> you can cuss. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. We're, 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 literally, uh, we're literally betting money on an animal fight. <laughs> you really are. Yeah, but it's not. Yeah, they're animals we trained and love and take care of. <laughs> uh, and fight with. And fight with. Yeah. Oh, man. That's a natural one. <laughs> okay. All right. Froki's going first. All right. Well... <sighs> I guess let's just start it out a little cautious. Try out Bubble. Because Froakie's only got a 25 foot movement speed, so I cannot get into melee with it just yet. Yeah. Okay. okay. Powerful oh, start, Froakie. You're doing your best. <laughs> Good lord. Wow. Okay. Alright, Zara's like, well, that doesn't seem so bad. Uh, Alright, let's, uh, Okay. Uh, let's just try to keep some distance. Um, back up a little bit for Ember. Uh, and one, two, three, four, five, six. And then from there, still keeping distance, that should be more than enough. Uh, we'll go ahead and do a Ember attack. And that is a five, so, uh, hot nine. Yeah. Yeah, she misses. is a frail little frog, but not a five, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, okay. Right, well, we're just gonna keep on keeping on, Froakie. Do right. what you do best, girl. Oh god. Hit him, girl. Oh god. Oh god! <laughs> yeah, all those will hit. <laughs> okay. That's two. That's five. That's seven. Uh, that's 10. Oh, God. <laughs> that's 20. 
As Froki yeah. closes the distance, you see the Smulpix get just sprayed in the face with a bunch of bubbles. And by the time the smoke clears, you see that it is li literally like laying flat on its stomach with those little curly things for eyes. It's out. That was a one hit KO. <laughs> Froki just flicks him down there. Oh my god, okay. Um. And Zara goes, oh no, oh no, okay, uh, uh, well, I guess I should have expected that. Um, it's the Frubbles. It's Gotta the, watch out for the Frubbles. It's the Frubbles. Froki gets 80 EXP. Sorry, I'm gonna write that down so that we don't forget. 80 EXP for Froki. And she goes, oh, this doesn't really look good for me. I may have picked the wrong person to fight. Um... <laughs> yeah, you should have fought me then. <laughs> she goes, um, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna try this out, though. Um, I believe in you. Uh, go, Magby. And she throws out another fire no! Pokemon. Oh no! Well, she, well, she works at a not, volcano, no, guys. <laughs> yeah, not it's Magby. unfortunate. Yeah. It's unfortunate for the type, but like that's another Johto Pokemon. So kids, just like hell yeah, dude, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yep. That's the boy or the girl. I don't know what it is yet, but I love those little guys. Them and the lake kids. All right. Um, give me one second because I am apparently really bad at setting up my NPCs tokens. Okay, there we go. Um, and I believe is it? No, yeah, because Froki just went, so it is technically this back yeah, turn. turn. Oh mm -hmm. boy. Oh boy. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay, we're gonna just go ahead and um, we're gonna try to faint attack it. Okay, and that is a twenty-one to hit. Yep. And uh, that is a grand total of twelve dark damage. <laughs> Gotcha. Okay. Um, and just hang in there. <laughs> Try to stay close. <laughs> <laughs> Is that its turn? Yeah, that's all it really has. Oh, actually, you know what? Because it has flame body. Sorry, let me post this really quick. Uh, when hit by melee attack, roll a d10 on a 10. The attacker okay. is so, Get so on this quick attack that's about to happen, if you roll a d10, Froki gets burned. Uh, yes. Nope, I did not roll Well, well I, I have well, I haven't attacked yet. That's fine. I was just I mean, I'm to fine. see. I'm fine to use that if you want to. I'll, I'll take a burn-free attempt. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that'll definitely hit. Okay. So four, and she just, you know, gets to move ten feet. Oh, that's right, because you can just do that on a quick attack. Wait, do you not take... Yeah, without oh. taking an attack of opportunity, that's right. That's, yep, yep, that's the thing that I did. Oh, God. Okay, <laughs> two of those hit. Quick attacks, go. Uh, three, and three. That's uh, six for 12 damage, okay. Magby is still up. Not looking good, but still up. Alright, and let's see. She's gonna go scooch on out. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Um hmm. Okay. Uh, she goes, Magby, we're going to try to get a little bit closer so we can do smog. And is going to go ahead and roll smog. Oh, did not mean to roll uh, an attack. It's technically supposed to be a DC 11 constitution saving throw. All right. From you, please. Uh, yep, that will definitely save. And I think uh, half as much. Okay, so half as much on a success. So you only take half. 
But that is three poison damage, so you take a grand total of one poison damage. And this area around you is smoggy, which I don't think will really do anything, but... Yeah. I think it's like this? What is it? Ten foot radius, Ten foot so radius it would be that? like four blocks wide at the widest point of a circle. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, yeah, I can't really draw easy. Oh god. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, it's like this ish. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Yes, like that. Ah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're good. Okay. That's uh, that's its turn though. That's all it can do. All right. Well, luckily I already rolled the save for the start of my turn, <laughs> so. Uh. Okay. Um. Yes, you did. Just gonna scooch in and hit it with the old faithful or try to. Okay. Also, let me, let me make sure I'm keep track of quick attacks PP. Yes. Yeah, I'm usually much better at keeping track of the PP used, but it's really hard right now. <laughs> Fair. I know I didn't go over any of the, the limits. And then. Ones. You can just poof on out. All right. Oh, it didn't hit, so never mind. I was going to roll for flame body, but I don't need to. Okay. Yeah. And then she's going to, you know, just try to keep bubbling. See if see if your frubbles can do a little bit better this time. Roll low. Roll low. No, that's not. That's the opposite it's... of what I told you to do. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little baby. Baby Magby. I really don't think it can survive this. We we believe in you, Magby. Oh god. Oh no, no, no. That's five, seven, ten. No, that's another twenty points of damage. That's twice as much as it has currently. <laughs> oh, Froki. Why are you so powerful? Magby faints! She, she, she's a bit of a little rascal. She is definitely more than a little rascal. You see the Magby immediately fall and get recalled. Oh, man. And, yeah. The voice uh, of Jim comes back on and goes, Magby is unable to battle. Froki wins this round. And give, go ahead and give yourself an extra 500 polka dollars. Yay! Yay! <laughs> We're not completely broke anymore. <laughs> All right. Um, Have we recouped okay. what V spent from their share? Uh, yeah. That's I made it. a thousand. All right. Well, so before we, we ten dollars today, guys. I will say. I will say. Uh, I do still want to actually go back to V for a second before you guys reconvene because V will have been wandering around this entire time. So, um, before we fade away from you guys and go to V, is there anything else you guys are doing? Because Zara just comes back out, does not actually run off, um, meets you kind of in the middle there and goes, uh, good job, kiddo. Man, that was kind of fun. I mean, probably not for my Pokemon, but I learned a lot, so thanks. It, sorry, I didn't realize you, were ha you had exclusively fire types. I I didn't actually get to use Froki in the gym battle, so I figured this would be a great well, opportunity. It was kind of unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's good. That's uh, that makes sense. I kind of didn't bother to ask. I should probably get some more different types because, yeah. Dope yeah. Magby, though. You guys are great. Really, really like them. <laughs> are there Magby? Wait, hold on. Are there Magby around the volcano? Did you get that here? Uh, before I answer your question, let me double check what I have for my volcano folder. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, she kind of thinks about it and goes, um, yeah, there's, uh, there's actually, like, a magmar that's been laying eggs, I think, starting since, like, two years ago? And, um, I actually found Magby's egg last year and, you know, took the time to hatch it, so we've been trying to get better. But, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's... 
It takes work. His eyes are like sparkling, and he, as she was saying that, he just scooped closer. Like you gotta show me. I uh, okay. Um, well, I mean the mag bar is actually really dangerous to get close to, so I can't take you to the mag bar. But if you want to visit the volcano and our research center, we can give you guys tours. Sure, yeah. I mean, anything to get close to the magmar. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Don't get close to the magmar. It's dangerous. I'm getting close to the magmar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's kind of like, we're gonna... Wait, uh, mm, that's not... Okay. Uh, well, I look forward <laughs> to seeing you at the research center. But you, then... you remember what happened to... Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, it's, it's, she's just like, but... I really appreciate it. So I should probably go heal up my Pokemon. She's like carefully, like slowly walking away, doing that thing where you're trying to get out. Like, it was nice to meet you guys. Really good. Nice meeting you. Uh, sorry, Jim. See you later. Yeah, she's like, sorry, Jim. I'm broke. I'm going to the Pokemon Center because it's free to heal over there. Bye. He uh, comes running up excitedly. He's just like, yo. She said there's a magmar that's been laying eggs for like two years. We gotta get one. <laughs> All right. Make sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Magmar's like laying eggs up on the volcano? She was kind of cagey because she said the magmar was dangerous. And I don't know if she really wants to tell us. But we are definitely going to go out there because if I. We could get a slugma. I want a Magby. Yeah. Have yeah, you seen those little guys? I did. That thing was super adorable. Like, I, I, I haven't seen one. I've seen pictures of Magmar in books, but I'd never actually seen a Magby or a Magmar. And that was... Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I could see, you know, the appeal. Back, back home, they really, like... I don't know how it happened, but like the discovery of baby Pokemon kind of predates everything in, in Johto, and they really, really love those little guys. I'm I, a fan of two of the three. Not a big Spoocha fan. Those things look kind of weird. Yeah. But, I don't but, know. but the other two, Magby and Alekia, they're fucking adorable, and they, they grow up into badass Pokemon, and if we could get a hold of some of those, woohoo! <laughs> that would be really cool. Okay. Uh, as you guys are kind of sitting around chatting, uh, I do want to... Well, I guess... Yeah. Let's pull away for a second. I want to know what V is up to. So, V, you have had a fucking terrible day. <laughs> day. We... <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you bust out of the Pokemon gym. Your leg still is beginning to kind of hurt because you've been walking around on it all day, and that's, you know, not a great reminder. Where are you uh, heading? Hey, <laughs> uh, I guess you would just go by the Pokemon Center to drop off Pokemon again. Okay. Um, okay. And then just go find... Somewhere without people, I guess. Okay. I don't really know what there is around on the island. Okay. Uh, you go ahead and go and drop off the Pokemon. Uh, Jill is like, already? What the heck are you guys doing? Okay. Um, I'll have these. Jill, stop touching us. <laughs> uh, stop touching us. <laughs> Um, but yeah. He, you. You he, he doesn't really say anything, life. he just drops him off. Okay, she kind of like raises her eyebrow and gives you a weird look because she's learned to expect, you know, she's learned to expect lip from you. Um, okay. Can you roll me a perception check as you uh, walk out of the Pokemon Center? Okay. You don't see what elicits the reaction, but as you're kind of walking away from the Pokemon Center, you hear 
the beating of what sounds like large wings and you hear a couple of people on the other street over kind of like you know across from the houses go what the hell is that wait did you see oh, that oh no <laughs> uh, <laughs> I guess I'll look up even though I don't okay you look, anything? you look up and you see roll me a poke knowledge check roll me an arcana six you gotta roll another six and then we'll be we'll be solid okay <laughs> <You're a kid. laughs> okay uh you look up you don't see exactly what it is but there is a weird lumpy shape that has rushed across in a large shadow above you. It's too fast for you to realize what it is, but it seems to be heading in okay. this direction. It's too far away at this point for you to Pokedex, unfortunately. And it is moving fast, but you can try to chase it. Why not? Okay. Run. Weird thing. Okay. Um, Plus, at this point, the pain is its a little... <laughs> Cathartic, I guess. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, he just runs. Makes sense, makes sense. Uh, you begin to run uh, after it. Um, okay, okay, okay. Can you roll me, just because I'm fishing for another <laughs> six from you, I'm trying to get these rolls out of you so that they don't come back and straw. You just have to get through them. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a gumball machine. You know, you gotta get past yeah. all the bad options. Go ahead and roll me an investigation as you're looking for the shape to try to follow it. Or <laughs> Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. Sheesh. I'm so... I don't know what... I don't know how to help. I'm just... <laughs> just it's so <laughs> heartbreaking. Okay. Uh, you go ahead and head across the bridge because you don't really know where else to go. But as you're kind of coming over, you hear a couple of people, you lose it. You don't know where it is. It's like it was here and then suddenly it's gone. But as you're walking past, you do hear a couple of people like murmuring. And the other one goes, no, I'm sure. No, I saw it. I'm telling you, it's real. God, it's fucking... <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> investigation because V isn't into it. God damn it. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay. Oh, boo. Okay. But it's up to you whether you want to get closer to those two people or if you want to just continue. Um, they were just, like, saw it. chatting. Yeah, yeah. You just saw them. Oh, I need to switch this back from nighttime. Yeah, they seem to have seen it uh, as it flew over the bridge. And they're just standing there going, no, I'm pretty sure it wasn't a bird. I know what a, you know, I know what a freaking Fero looks like. It wasn't a Fero. He'll, he'll just stop and like, almost run into one of them and just, where did it go? Kind of glances over at you and goes, see, he saw two. <laughs> uh, quick, where'd it go? Uh. Uh, over there, over there, towards the restaurant. I, I think I saw it land? He just uh, runs. Okay, you run. You run, you keep running. Unfortunately, because you did roll kind of badly, uh, you are not there almost yeah. in time. However, however, I'll give you one last chance. You see something <laughs> hulking behind a tent that kind of precedes the restaurant. I want you to roll me another poke knowledge check to see if you can figure out what the hell this thing is. Just I before. Poke it at the same time as I. Sure. Yep. Poke as... How? What's the uh, range of the Pokedexing? Uh, I have no idea. Sixty feet. feet? Okay, yeah, that's not bad. Another poke knowledge check, please. Uh, it's Arcana, right? Yep. Eight. Okay. <laughs> God. You <laughs> just. <laughs> Split the difference from that war earlier. I so mean, you got two. Right? That's twice as yeah, good as it could have been, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. It is something large. Your Pokedex slips off of it just as it seems to be returned to its Pokeball. 
Uh, you see what appear to be two large wings, but you also see a long neck, which doesn't look bird-like. It doesn't look like a fear, although the color is definitely there. Um, but the wings look, weirdly enough, green? They don't look quite like feathers. But okay. as you're kind of running towards this thing, um, you know, you kind of see this long neck, um, and you see these weird wing-like appendages raise up for a second, and then it dissolves into that red blur. And you hear from a distance as you're running towards them, uh, this, uh, the voice of somebody who may or may not be the shopkeeper. This may be the same restaurant that you guys went to eat brunch at. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, you, you see, you hear the voice of the shopkeeper and goes, Honestly, I don't understand why you always have to make this kind of entrance. Well, fine, now that it's out of the way, yes, you can come in, but you could have knocked something <laughs> over. And then you hear, like, the little ringing bell as the doors close, and it appears that whoever right. was on that thing has gone inside the restaurant. Yeah, I mean, he'll just run over to the restaurant and just slam the door open. Okay. Uh, where is my restaurant? Hold on, I had a little restaurant. We had an entire thing with this. Oh god, it's... <laughs> says, Please wait to be seated as V kicks the door in. <laughs> sign over to. Yep. Fuck your sign. Fuck your sign, hold on. I gotta get rid of the people that were here before. <laughs> <laughs> They're gone, they, they died. They died, yes. Okay. We got to watch past us get snapped out of existence, Thanos style. Whenever they change the map, right. just now. <laughs> that was horrifying to watch. V just watched all of us vanish. No, I, I didn't see anything, honestly, because I can't see shit. So, all right, as you come in, the first thing you see is uh, a very familiar mess of hair. Um, that you recognize- He just starts pointing you.